Um, so you circumcise your baby boy. So if you're a male, you got to be circumcised and you've got to keep the Sabbath and you have to observe the kosher food laws and you have to keep the festivals. And you, you know, so there are these rules that just make Jews distinctive. And Paul's saying that these rules, these, these laws that make Jews distinctive have no bearing on salvation. So the works of the law are these things that the law, the law of Moses demands of Jews. And James is not talking about that. James is talking about whether you have to do good things or not. Do you have to do good deeds? James' view is that you, if you agree on certain propositional statements, for example, you agree that Christ was raised from the dead, uh, you agree that Christ was taken up to heaven, you agree with that intellectually, that doesn't make you right with God. You've got to show it in your life. And throughout the book of James, this is the this is the dominant theme. You've got to show it. Otherwise, it's just empty talk. Paul isn't talking about that. Paul's not talking about whether your life has to reflect your faith. Paul very much believes that your life has to reflect your faith. When you read Paul's letters, a third of each letter virtually or more is about how you need to behave. <laughs> and so Paul's not telling you that you can lead this crazy licentious life and still be saved if you agree with a certain prop set of propositions. But that's what James is attacking. And so so it doesn't look to me like they're they're contradicting each other because they mean different things by faith, they mean different things by works. And then the big question is, well, why is James attacking a position that Paul doesn't have? <laughs> that is a good question. Do we do we know why that's going on? Um, well, I think we know, but I don't think Martin Luther knew. Um, but I think scholarship since then has shown uh, what's what's going on. Um, what's going on, I think, is that Paul advocated to his Gentile converts that they would be made right with God by their uh, by their faithful by their faith in Christ. Uh, by their trust in Christ's death and resurrection without keeping the Jewish law. So Gentiles could be followers of Jesus without keeping the, the Jewish law. And the term he used then was works of the law. You don't have to do the works of the law. And eventually, Paul's converts came to take this to mean that you're made right with God uh, by, your, by your faith, not by anything you do. It's you can't earn your salvation. And so in the book of Ephesians, for example, there's a very, very big stress in Ephesians that you're not justified by anything you do, that, that it's only by the grace of God that you're made right with God. And so now it's, it's no longer talking about like doing the things that make Jews Jewish. Now it's talking about, you know, you, you can't, you can't do anything. You have to accept the grace that God gives. Um, and that's what that's what James is attacking, because he because the corollary of that is that you could do anything you jolly well please. And because it doesn't matter what you do, it just you know matters what you believe. And so you need to believe and, you know, it doesn't matter how you live your life. And some Pauline Christians in the next generation or so are taking it to that extreme. They're saying that, look, it just matters what you believe. It doesn't matter how you live. And James is attacking that. So James is attacking the version of Paul that he's heard. He's not necessarily attacking what Paul himself said. I see. Thank you.